YouTube streaming is very interesting, man. Interesting. And we are More now like live on YouTube. Terrible. Volatile. <laughs> interesting mean volatile. It's, it YouTube doesn't care about stuff. live streaming. It's the weird we thing. We are live on the Twitch. Yeah. We yeah, actually yeah, yeah, yeah. never decided what we're drinking today. <laughs> Uh, it's number fourteen, isn't it? Yeah, we're doing uh, we're doing number fourteen of the Flaviar. All right, yeah. I gotta grab that. Yeah, go ahead and get your fingers in there. Oh, just Welcome, put, put it right into that box. Welcome, everybody, to to the place where we we wait f until we start the stream to uh, start popping bottles. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> we're well, we were running late, and you know we had to we sure. had to kind of. Get ahead of the curve here and Make sure open our up time number in our clothes had to coordinate. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. What I miss. For a uh, second, I uh, thought I didn't have this one because I already accidentally opened the door for it. And, uh, but it was there. <laughs> well, God day. And now I'm going to scare myself next time because I opened 15. <laughs> the we'll repeat. Ooh, well, today. what is this one? I don't know. What is it? It does. So, does it not say on here? Does it only say in our bag? It's only says in the book. Yo, only we could like, book. we could like, we could play a little game. We like oh, guess the whiskey game. type. Like, is it a whiskey? Is it a bourbon? Is it a rye? I've done that before with y'all. I'm down for this. Let's do I'm it. Down for this. Don't, don't, don't look at it. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay, I'm not I'm opening the book. Yo. I'm just I cheated. Born. I I kind of know what this one. What is. did you say? That's okay. Anybody? It's okay for you to know. I don't know what I said. What did I say? I, th I thought you said. <laughs> I thought you said something. Oh Never no! Mind. Oh no! It's fine. Probably it's not. Fine. If you thought I said something, I probably said nothing. I thought you said something. Okay. No. Oh, did we pop this thing open? We did. I did. Yep. I did. Okay. It's Mine's going. Poor. The game has begun. It smells yeah. very sweet. Oh wow! Oh, interesting. It really does. Okay. Bourbon. Do I get extra points go, for wait, hold on. for answering first? Do I get do I get that was like less than wow. five seconds? Yeah. Do I get extra points? Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. If you cool. get it right really, really quickly, I'll Bourbon. give you extra points. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Nat, you're losing points as you're, we speak. No, you're making up the rules as we go. No, we okay. we had a, we had like yeah. a whole long list of all 1,072 okay. rules that we Honey. went over. That's why we're late. <laughs> It took us 14 minutes to go through all those rules. We did. We did. We have a booklet now. We're gonna we're gonna share that booklet sweet. later. <laughs> so oh stick God. around. <laughs> not not clickbait, fish bait. If I guess Clickbait. one of the top three ingredients, do I get extra points? Yes. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. I I'm just Honey. guessing bourbon. <laughs> what did you guess? Honey. Huh? <laughs> One second, I gotta I gotta tally up some points here. That was mostly a way. laugh. I gotta Sorry. I gotta tally up some points. Let's let me get that. Eric is coming up with this game as we fucking fly. <laughs> Black oh, yeah. Courant. Eric's like, oh my Black god. Black Courant. Did you hear me, Judge? Black Courant. Black current, you mean? Yeah. No, no, Courant? no, not like past and present black. Black Courant. No, Anthony. Wait, what are you talking about? Black current is not pronounced current. Of course it it's is. Black black current because the English language is garbage. I'm not. We're not talking about the ocean Anthony, right now, Nat. Anthony, what, Anthony, this isn't the, Anthony, this isn't this black no, no, sea. No, 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 no. We're I talking get it. about. I get it. I get the joke. No, I, I'm 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 on the sea. I'm on the ship that you are sailing off the cliff of this joke. <laughs> I fully get how stupid this is. <laughs> Nat, okay, homework assignment. Have you ever watched Whistle and Diesel? Whistle and Whistle Diesel. Diesel? Have you ever watched no. Whistle and Diesel? Because no. he is influencing my com comedic style and it is just, and, it, and you don't, you're not ready for it. <laughs> no, I'm, I, obviously not. This it, thing has not <laughs> nary a leg to stand on. Actually, no, it's pretty, it's pretty thick. I guess it's pretty thick. I don't know, I, man. This I thing do. Oh, it's extremely so thick, I will yeah. say, I do get what you should be getting to guess the the genre of whiskey that they're looking at. So right now, right now, we have you a said battle genre of whiskey going is it a whiskey? on. Well, ev everything in this box is a whiskey. Are we doing oh, yeah, this all right, off of smell? Right, <laughs> right is now, there, is right there three now. phases so to this? There, like there are. 
there are two phases of this. <laughs> Actually, sorry, yeah, well, there are the three phase? phases of this. There are three phases. So the first phase is the nosing. You got to nose it. You have toss a it few out. different categories. <laughs> yeah, oh. Toss it out. <laughs> Don't. But you have a few different ca categories. You have the individual notes of smell that you get. You have the genre of whiskey. You have the proof of the whiskey. Uh, the company is extra bonus points. How many points Any do you get for missing is extra all of bonus that. points. Uh, it, so we're starting, we're going to judge it similar to... Uh, Can I drink it yet? Uh, it's going to be a no, zero base scale. So essentially, you're going to get one point for any correct thing that you get. Hold on. I'm going to test right? something real quick. Hold on. Okay. Then you have the second that's phase. That's cheating. Which is you brought tasting. in another source. What are you talking about? I don't know. That's, that's cheating, obviously. <laughs> no, no. Any, anything. No, no, that wait. You need it's to help fine, you with Matt. this is fine. It's fine. You have a nosing kit, it's Anthony. Fine, like, what Matt. Are we I'm just going to start yeah, smelling something else. What I, whatever, Anthony. Good luck with that set of like how many fla how many cents is it not enough yeah i didn't okay. think so <laughs> gonna get a Good new one that. just for have, this freaking competition okay so we have anthony and nat let me let me get these in so anthony your uh oh, nat really nat went with honey right i'm also gonna go with anthony uh, with what black current. i think this is malted uh malted okay i think it's malted Okay, and Anthony, are you saying a bourbon? I did say that. Oh, just to be combative, I'm going to be a whiskey. Uh, you, they're all whiskeys now. Shut up! It, you know, no, what? no, he's saying it's. I messed up your it's name. Only a whiskey. <laughs> he's saying it's not a rye. I think it's, it's, it's not, not bottled in bond. It's just a whiskey. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's I, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a two year minimum whiskey. That that doesn't count. That doesn't count. You got to get does? me. You no, because there, there are, are things that are just whiskeys. There, no, there no, is okay. a base is whiskey, bro. There there are there Do are, I have to say EY or like what? If you're gonna go with a base whiskey, you got to give me the country of origin. No, because you should. Oh, no. You should no. no, because there are American whiskeys, Canadian whiskeys, Japan. Japanese okay, whiskey. American, no, it's an American we're, whiskey. We're, we're doing four, Scott. dude. We're doing four. It's an American whiskey. It's an American whiskey. No, 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 Anthony. Anthony, these, this is the, the very first game. It's okay. This is American whiskey. That's what I'm going with. Okay. I don't have any notes to of this aroma to reinforce that, but okay. Grass. No. I literally just smelled something that is that is grass. It's not grass. Crap. It, I'm, it's help, a, I'm helping at this point. Actually, no. Go for it. Say grass. It's a it's a it's a corn grass. I think there's corn in it. This is, dude. This thing is just like it's just juice. I, I don't get anything but fruit, man. Oh, can we move on to the tasting portion? Okay. <laughs> Cheers. The first episode of the Tap Haven Game Show. Game <laughs> Show. <laughs> Ting. Where, where, where's the music? Guys, I don't hear the music. Jenny! <laughs> Johnny's the audio guy, right? Oh, no, we fired yeah. Johnny. Shit. No, he's gone. He's out of here. He was stealing Ooh, from the... the yeah, yeah. It's like... I, I'm trying... Actually, I'm not giving anything away. I'm not giving my tasting notes. Y'all give me information. I'll give you points or not points. <laughs> Wait, wait. There's a hint of um. It's a fruit, and that okay. fruit is peach. I wanted to say strawberry, but it's not. It's peach. Wait, can I also say peach, or does I? I just don't. Yeah, get we can guess the same thing. It. I guess. No, no, uh, no. <laughs> No, no, Eric? we could, we could, see. wait, no, uh, what? Because, because then you could always just guess what the other person guessed every time in addition to your own. Yeah, but, but you get less tied. points for not being first. Oh, so you're saying half a point if you want to agree with somebody. Yeah. Mm, okay. I agree with the peach. Okay. I can, I can get behind that. I can get behind if you I want to do the him. half points. I tricked him. Mm -hmm. Don't tell him. Nobody tell him about the trick. This guy. Do you think he heard me? Oh, I forgot to mute. Sorry, no, I thought I was talking you, to my stream. 
You're uh, the fucking worst, man. Do, do you want negative points for incorrect things? No. I feel like it'd be more interesting to see how high we go rather than how far we fall. Fair. Mm-hmm. Fair. I'm mm-hmm. okay with that. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Though I do want you mm-hmm. to notarize our failures. I have. Okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, don't you worry. I have. <laughs> um, I have a lot of food. fruit on this. Um, God, what? Is- you know, I actually, uh, I think it's a rye. <laughs> it's definitely okay. No, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Say, say what you're going to uh, say. E- on each phase, chest. on each phase, you can change. You can have a new guess. <laughs> right. Um, I don't think it's a bourbon anymore. It's. it's I it mean, is. you already you, guessed that first, so it is. What that was it off is. the nose, off the off the taste. It's different. That was. That I was didn't off change the nose. my mind. I didn't change my mind. This is a separate yeah, wait, section. We we're not allowed to. Oh, you're I allowed see. to change your mind. I see. Yeah, I was planning I for that to be a thing. I'm but like, wait, so like. I could have kept it. Your last thing Uh is is your lock-in, though. Here's what I'm going to say. If in the nosing you were to say, guess a rye, and then in the tasting it was a a corn whiskey, right? And you said corn whiskey first, and then you went and switched it to rye after you taste it, I don't think you should get credit for saying corn whiskey mm. first if you switched it to a rye whiskey. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. If you get it right on the nose, that's more impressive than getting it wrong on the mouth. I'm saying if you change your mind about it. I'm not changing my mind. I'm guessing two different things based on two that's- different things. I didn't change my mind at all. I was planning on having multiple guesses each time. Oh, and it could oh, be oh, both the same oh, thing. Oh. Whenever you guys are done arguing, I have my next get. I have Yo, go, go, go. Thing. Go for it. Go for it. D- go for it. Dates. Some kind of like date-ish uh, uh, thing. That's that that's that's overall sweet kind of kick over the top of it. I caught honey at the beginning, but I feel like dates are like I feel like dates make the entire bouquet of this. Pepper. Pepper, I'm locking in pepper. pepper. Eric, I'm okay. locking in pepper. I got you. I got you. I, I, can I lock in wood? Just general? We gotta, we gotta limit this. <laughs> of course there's wood. It's in a barrel. I won't, a accept, barrel. I, I won't accept wood as a default. Wood, you have to tell me what corn, type of wood. Like, you no, know, you have to tell me what type of wood. Oh, oak. white oak. I mean, they're all, they're all in oak, right? Do it, I have to be specific it's, in the it, color? It's always no. white oak unless it's something fancy. You can tell me. Uh, you can tell me if you want it to not be traditional oak, but I think oak is fine. Okay. Uh, well, I, like I, okay. I would say, oak wouldn't no, count no for points like for oak. Mizuno oak. No, mm. no, right? no points okay. for oak. Well, there are different types of oak. Like yeah, there's but the ninety-nine percent of whiskeys isn't isn't a white oak. I am only counting things if they have it in the Flaviar booklet. Okay. We have so so they, we have learned not to trust they, that booklet. Wait, go I'm, to, go I'm to, just saying that's our go judgment. To one. Go to that's our one. judgment. Everybody go to number one in the book. Yeah. Everybody go to number one in the book. Did they mention? Okay. And go all the way up until 13 and see how they mention wood. They like, mention, they, they do not always mention uh, oak so, or wood. Oak. They only mention it sometimes, Ooh, which is okay. why I say so telling me the type of wood. FYI, is a valid answer. FYI, okay. when I say, when I say, grass, that is obviously hay, because hay is grass. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, so, sorry. Literally, Anthony, Anthony, it is. Anthony, Anthony, I'm not saying no that hay is not grass. I'm saying you cannot say grass and me say that hay is the same taste. It's not. Okay. Well, I'm trying to tell you that when I smelled grass, I couldn't figure out the word for hay because my brain's broken. So your brain being broken does not connotate that you get to cheat. It's not cheating (laughs) because grass is hay. 
They're the same thing. Anthony, we've, Anthony, we've, we've, Anthony, Anthony, we can't use that logic with the judgment scale that we have because grass and grassy has been used. No, it's not inside of Flaviar. No, it's used I have on not. number three. Oh, Eric said has the liar. Receipts. Said the Eric liar. Has the <laughs> said the, it says hay and grassy. I That's said fair. grass, not grassy. Grass is hay. Grassy oh is grassy. I'm just saying. I'm, I am the judge and arbiter. Ash, about to get out of here. This was my fucking separate. idea. <laughs> Whatever, catch him. Whatever, catch him. Get out of here. The, I'm going to ban my mod. Get it, get it the, Ash. Get it, Ash. Catch him. How do I ban I people? I Moving it. on. How do I ban people? I can't ban her. Damn it. Okay. Are we? Have we locked in all of our notes yet? I literally can't taste anything else. I don't know. We, did, we I, I, I think we needed like a limit. Do we need to rate this? Because no, Nat no, guessed like seven things. No, I guess four things. He guessed. He has five things total. And you yeah. have five things total. No, Look he at said that. because you're not Look listening. He said so many more things than me. Look at that. He <laughs> locked in five. Your ADHD is going to be the death of you, my friend. You got you, you, your ADHD too, okay. too. Get out of here. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, you are. Are we? Are we locking anything I'm else in? in. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I have nothing in. else to give you, Anthony. What's the third phase? Tell me how badly we've done. So the third phase is the price. Okay. Oh, Ooh. okay. Uh, Sixty-five dollars. Wow, that was fast, sir. I am. Uh, I. How I, many bonus I points do I get for guessing fast? I really wanted y'all to send me that one so you couldn't uh, just like guess this. Because now that I've heard it, I now I know I had I could I just need to do 60, 65 and one cent, and I'm closer. No, no, you're either right or you're not. You, you, uh, we are, uh, we are uh, rounding. We are rounding to the dollar for a point. I was gonna say, what, what if we like? To the what if you're like within five dollars or three dollars? I'll I'll send. It's just a point. I'll send it to you, Eric. I got you. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Wait, be well, there's no point in sending it to him. I already said my number. <laughs> yeah, he already said it. You don't have to send this one. Now. <sighs> Fine, I'll get. I'll get. He's gonna guess later. fifty-two. Um, Anthony, what was yours? Stop trying to be me, Anthony. Okay? Anthony, what was yours? I'm not trying to be you. Uh, sixty-five. He's sixty-five. Uh, um, this tasted really good. Well, it tasted okay. Um. Seventy-five. We're gonna do seventy-five. Seventy-five. We need game 75. music. Okay. Okay. We don't okay. Need game music. We, we are all music. locked in. Eric, what do we got? We need so, like a clapping sound. Anthony Yay! has black current. Black current. He said it right. Are we gonna do this Mori style? Black current. You, that is black not current. <laughs> we have grass, but actually hay by Anthony. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Peach, rye, pepper, and it's sixty-five dollars. Peach, rye, sixty-five dollars. Okay. Or, Nat, we have honey, malted American whiskey, peach for half a point, date, and seventy-five dollars. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> drum roll, please. Oh, sorry. Um. Jesus. <laughs> Drum roll. Okay, I, did you... drum roll's over, bro. <laughs> what? No, I needed the drum roll. Keep going. Keep going. I'm, I'm tired. Now. Yeah, I'm tired. Keep I can't. going. No, we're done. Game I over. Feel like he's and doing this next on week we will find out we who won. Have... Bye, guys. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> so, just getting our winner with a combined total of four. And a half points. Thank you. Is Nat. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Who Thank got you. every single tasting note uh, correct you. from the booklet? Almost. Thank you. What? Uh, honey. Wait, I guess it honey. Is, so that gives me bonus points and him like no points. You do not have honey not locked in. Did not honey, honey shouldn't did. count because that's too easy. Oak shouldn't count because that's too easy. Whatever, dude. Dates. Uh, we got salty. dates though. Wait, that's Anthony, pretty impressive we right there. We did not lock in oak for him. There, I do. That is, he got four and a half points without oak. So, what was the price? The also, price, I said it was fruity. You didn't count any points for that, but okay. 
Okay. You did not lock in a fruity. I never locked in anything. You just suddenly arbitrarily decided that locking in was a thing and that Nat did it uh, and I didn't. <laughs> I can, I what can was the give price? you fruity. Uh, the, the price, according to Total Wine, $54. Wow. So I, I won That's on that front right bad. there, obviously. So much closer. You were closer, but points only for the nearest dollar. So much closer. But you were closer. <sighs> Uh, so Anthony, with a combined total of two points, and Nat with a total of four and nine. Oh wow, you got the single malt. Nice job. Yeah, he did it, get malted and um, an American whiskey. It's because I've been consuming this. You know what, Nat? You did a great days. job, and I'm so proud of you for winning this. You seem a bit charged, friend. I'm just proud. Right. I'm, right I am there. so you glad sure? that you are so much better at this than me. I'm really not, my guy. I've just been tasting the same bourbon for over and over and over again, and now I'm sensitive to it. The <laughs> quad malt? Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, this is malted pretty much, pretty much off the top. I was like, so, okay, yeah. Nat, our winner, what do you think mm. about this whiskey? It's this pretty is, good. So let me, let me just let me go down this real quick. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, the yeah, Yellowstone... Yeah. American single malt whiskey. We are sitting at a pretty high 54% alcohol by, by volume, which is Definitely. 108 proof. Probably That's where you thought it was rye. The mm. highest proof whiskey we've had in the Flaviar experience so far, I think. And that is correct. I just double checked. I very this much is the disagree. the highest proof whiskey we've had. With the cinnamon note, because to me, that's completely pepper. Where's the cinnamon? It's pepper. It's Where's not cinnamon, cinnamon, it's pepper. There's like a feeling. Hold but on. it's not a cinnamon feeling. It's a pepper feeling that's on the tip of your get tongue. get that on the nose. It's on the tip of your I tongue. Agree. I get much more pepper notes than I do cinnamon notes. So I, I get like five points for the judge agreeing with me that the Flaviar guys are nimwads. That's <laughs> fair. Anthony, you're, Anthony, you're losing that's poorly. <laughs> I'm losing fantastically. You're, now, you're losing poorly. Just I will playing. say, though, okay. Anthony, I have to give you huge notes for the peach call out because I think that was extremely that was yeah, on the nose. Well, why is there no bonus points here? I, I mean, I guessed so fast. Like, I thought that that was how I was going to win was how one much, what you point get times like points, 10. Which is half a point. There's like no multiplier. You didn't do a multiplier guessing for guessing within That's literally true. my guess was within like three seconds of touching the, my tongue. I feel <sighs> like having Eric actually time when categorization all, all comes through is, is, is way too granular for us to go ahead and jump in on the first day. So I'm going to cut Eric some slap. No, bo bo uh, some both, slack. both of you just have to go and watch Whistle and Diesel a little bit so that you know where this was supposed to go. <laughs> gotcha. Because because you weren't supposed to tally up anything. You're just supposed to throw random ass shit <laughs> against what, the wall. No, I, I, I tallied. No. I tallied. I did the numbers. I you do have to understand that everybody here has detailed, ordered brains. I do not actually. <laughs> I need. I need. A, I need a rubric. I need a scaling system. No. I need a note taking guide to go along with the actual lecture that goes on before the actual game show. Don't play with me. Oh. Okay, so yeah. it is a what is it? American single malt whiskey. Thing is hot as hell. Um, it is pretty hot. Pretty I don't high see, proof. It tastes so super proof. young to no. me. I like yeah. a lot of uh harsh bite mm -hmm. almost. Um I think that's where that pepper note comes from a lot. Yeah. It has this like young malty harshness that is uh interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay, yeah. Eric. <laughs> yeah. I saw your face when you were saying young and malty. I don't think interesting is what you wanted to say, but I understand. I understand. Yeah. Um yeah, no, this is this was tasty off the bat, but as you got deeper into it, I was like, "Oh, you have problems. You have you have some some key issues that I'm like, ah, maybe maybe not again unless it's older. You know, there's no con there's no 
uh, comparison I want to make with that kind of statement. So don't ask me. <laughs> well, I mean, the type of people that don't like this are people that really like tip of the tongue play. Because it's so tingly. I see. Uh, I see. <clears throat> I see where you went. Sir, you can't say those kind of things on the internet. <laughs> what? Does that mean something? Don't don't play coy with me. I understand where you're going. I, know I thought that was a whiskey. There, buddy. A whiskey thing. Nope. I learned nope. about that in That's, Louisville. What, when I was at, the, the last time I was in too? Louisville, I went to the thing, that museum place, and they teach you how to sip whiskey. And the guy were, was like, were we there this together? one is tip. No, this was the second time I went. Oh, so he's been twice. Got you. And the guy oh. was like, so this one is a very tip of the tongue playful. That's mm. what he said. Interesting. That's an interesting phrase to use. Yeah. I mean, because it I is see what he tip means. of the tongue play. Under, there's uh, back yeah. of the, there's like back of the throat play as he was talking about it, like when it really burns. <laughs> and then there's like, <laughs> what's going on? What did I say something weird? I'm so, okay, play, let's just move on. I, maybe this guy was full of shit. I don't know. I don't, just learned from him. Don't play coy with me, buddy. I, I'm, <laughs> you nasty, nasty man. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I got educated so, at a museum, a nice and respectable establishment. So please, I don't know what y'all are talking about. But yeah, let's thing move you on. Know, this guy's like, make sure to gargle your whiskey. You know? Yep. Yeah. Make sure yeah. it hits the back of your throat so you can feel it. That was step 69. Sir, <laughs> where is this freaking? Where is this whiskey from? <laughs> uh, so, no mama's house. Before I reached through this camera, <laughs> so so this is from the Yellowstone Bourbon uh, Company. They were established in the late 1800s. Where are they at? I am pretty sure. That they are in Kentucky. Mm. Uh, no, actually, why would they be in Kentucky? They must be in Yellowstone. No. Yeah, I was about to say if their their name is Yellowstone, chances are they're probably no. They're pretty... they're out of Kentucky. They oh, Kentucky really? Urban. Let's see okay. where their distillery is at right here. Yellowstone okay. Distillery. It is in Lebanon, Kentucky. <laughs> Le- Lebanon, Kentucky. Well, cover color me surprised. Yep. Interesting. Okay, yeah. so what are you what are you rating this thing? How are you rating it? So I was I was interested in it from the jump, but as I got into it, I was just like, "Oh, it's another young boy. It's another young pup trying to swing above its station or something like that." Um, it was very interesting. Again, off the top, but the sweetness kind of sits over this kind of, this cloying aftertaste that does not help with the actual enjoyment of the bur- of the whiskey. Um, the malt is interesting. It adds this kind of interesting layer of oh man, I I can't think of it any other way, or I can't really describe it any other way other than like there's a shine over the taste. That implies that it's malted. I don't know, but uh, it's in- th- that part is cool. It's interesting. It's everything else that, again, it's. I feel like this is a story that we say over and over again whenever we go through these bourbons. This thing is very young, and it's going to take a bit for it to start tasting good. And we we've said that over and over and over again. So I would love for them to age this and see where it ends up in five years. I would gladly purchase this for $70 at that five year mark. I can't believe I said 70 before I even heard (laughs) the actual price. Oh, my wallet weeps for me. So Anthony, what are you, what are are you rating? this? Wait, Matt, did you say a rating? I gave it a four. Okay. Just now. I see. Oh, wait, no, wait, whoa, wait. Uh, yeah, four. Yeah, no, yeah. four. Four. Anthony, four. what are you rating this whiskey? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me put that in quotations real quick. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep, yep, Appreciate yep, it. Yep, 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 yep. Doing, the, doing, doing the Lord's that's work over here. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Approximately a three and a half, smart. I imagine. From Actually, there. no, I was going to give it like a, like a four, nine, maybe a five. 
Okay. You can eat this a five. Um, you know, this is the first time that a uh, whiskey's really tickled the tip of my tongue so well. So it's got to get some bonus points for that. I guess you don't like that kind of thing. No, I don't. I don't want it to tickle. It's weird because it usually it lingers like in the back of my throat, but it's lingering on the tip of my tongue, and that's just a new experience for me. Fair. Fair. <laughs> yep, fair. Are you constipated? Fair. Yep. <laughs> the, that's All right, so we're going to go to an ad break so Nat can go. On. <laughs> the, uh, we don't have ads, gentlemen and ladies. Yeah, we but uh, Flaviar, we were thinking about buying your next advent calendar. <laughs> if you want to sponsor the next 24 episodes, we will do only Flaviar content for 24 episodes for your new advent calendar if you send it to all three of us. Facts. Just putting it out there. <laughs> facts and back to the show eric can you so, just like this eric can you just like lean over like 45 degrees now we got ads look at that plus right there <laughs> right there I if pack south were still, still in business oh dude I don't wish. we gotta go to back a pack again so, someday yeah I'd be or down something point, yeah. or maybe something else i don't know if there's something i like i like packs Packs, I like more Dragon Con video game centric thing. stuff. I don't like Dragon Cons anymore. I bet they would give us a room. If we like ask them well enough in advance, I bet they'd let us do a live show. Yeah, probably. Really? Interesting. I mean, you usually like like there's yeah. there, I mean there's people that don't pay and then there's people that pay. We would have to pay. <laughs> we would definitely yeah. have to pay. We would have to pay, but <laughs> like they pay. would let us do it. Like they're, yeah. they they have so many rooms that I have flashbacks of whenever I would I used to pay for the tickets for people to show up to the shows for my band. And I'm like, no. do I want to go back to that life? I got a new rule. <laughs> There's only one way I would go back to the Dragon Con, but I would hate it anyways. But I would be uh, in those four hotels that are connected so that I never have to go outside mm -hmm. into hot Atlanta. Yeah. Hot Atlanta. Wow. It's so hot. There, dude. The mountains have changed you. It's so it's much hotter down here. <laughs> it's different. It's different. Yeah, fair. it is different. That's fair. It is you, so human. You live yeah. within like driving distance of a beach. <laughs> you got nothing in Atlanta. I do. Yes. Yeah. Houston ain't that type of place. Have but you it's close. seen? It's close. Have you no, seen Houston. No. Houston. But it's, there's like there's that. an ocean right there, so you could go on the ocean. There, have you like, seen? It's Galveston? not the same. You can get in the it's boat. Not the same. I promise. <laughs> it's a beach. It's a boat. Anthony, next time you come down, let's go down to Galveston. Yeah, what if we just went beach. middle north? It's what if no. we went to like North Dakota? We, uh, I can't go to North Texas. No, North Dakota. <laughs> Dakota. I still can't go there either, Anthony. But it's probably north. be fine. Actually, I there actually, are so I few people North there. That's true. That, like you, you wouldn't <laughs> see another human for like five hundred miles. So you'd probably be fine, actually. Be fine. Yeah. It'd be fine. Less so in North Texas. But North Dakota, there's yeah. like 20 people there total. Okay. I got a lope. Guys, I eloped in North Texas. That's the funny part. Like <laughs> That's, That is funny. <laughs> Is it colder anyway, there? Um, Any, uh, it's uh, during the uh, winter, yes. But like during summers, it's about as hot as you can get in Houston. Sorry, in Texas. Um, yeah. All right. Man, that was good whiskey timing. Well, uh, yeah, I, I, man, this whiskey has almost everything I dislike about whiskeys in it. Really? Yeah, this is not not my whiskey. Uh, this. What are you getting it in? I. This is almost one that I'd be like, you know what? I'm good. I'd probably really? put this at like 1.5 for me. Yeah, this is probably the lowest one yet. Dude, Eric's cold as fuck, man. I, like look, even with the even with the bouquet, even with the smell, I the, smell so stinkers on this the, freaking that's podcast. that's true. <laughs> the swamp water one and this one are mm. are are the mm. worst ones of the show so far for okay, me. Okay, fair, fair. But the swamp water one had some interesting notes to it. This one has a cloying sweetness to me. It just sticks around for you. And then it's like Harsh, young pepper, and then it goes into the, like this cling, almost fake sweetness mm, for me. Synthetic. It's like, 
just all of these clashing and I almost feel like there just aren't that many redeeming qualities for it for me, for my flavor palette. Interesting. Yeah. I feel bad about my rating now because I feel like I've rated stuff at four that does not deserve to be quantified in the same like ballpark as this. I mean, that's the personal preference, you know, uh, you know, like True. it's just this for me has this dichotomy of like harsh young whiskey. Mm. It's like really just on the nose harsh with this pepper that gives you like right on the tip of the tongue. It's just like, bam. And that 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 sting isn't very tasty to me. Mm-hmm. And then right after that, it's like, hey, sugar. Uh, yeah, and, I see. And I'm just like, uh. Boring. Yeah, it doesn't have, a, it, like, doesn't have too much else going for it. It's very quick. It's not very viscous. It doesn't have a lot of oily factor to it. The mouthfeel isn't quite as, it, like, here's the thing. If, if I were to go into a store and see this sitting on a shelf next to Frey Ranch, I could never not choose the Frey Ranch. Of them. Speaking of... Let me wash your impure spirit from my mouth <laughs> with the nectar of gods. Anyway, all right. So that's yeah, that's that's me. I I uh, I, I am much harsher on this. No, one. no shade to Yellowstone. I'm sure they're doing wonderful things with other. Oh, I have uh, had whiskeys. good Yellowstones. They have like a seven year bourbon that I think is very. Oh, very okay. Good. So like this is like their. This, this is, is their entry. This is one of their entry models. Mm. This is they have stuff that is uh much better than this. Now, I would say Yellowstone has some older releases that are really good. Um that I've had with Cody that are that are great that don't even aren't even really on the market anymore. But yeah, this Gosh. is this is definitely we know we know. we know. We know. Dude, we Frey know. Ranch is so hot. Holy crap. Frey Ranch hits. Bro, that's so hot. You know? <laughs> so I love anyway, how just, uh, uh, whatever I was smelling that I called grassy or hay uh, mm-hmm. on. <laughs> okay. I thought this was Yellowstone's website. Uh, this is less bad now that I looked at the website URL. But the dude says oh, there's a slight funk <laughs> that goes up the nostrils no. like apples fermenting. And it is definitely a funk. <laughs> there is definitely a funk. But it's not like a, a horribly that. displeasing funk like swamp water. Dude, I love that we call that whiskey swamp water. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> even get a name. It's water just whiskey. the swamp water whiskey. <laughs> I, I love that. By mm. the way, if y'all haven't seen the thumbnail for that, it's 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 pretty good as well. Mm. I've seen it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I saw the thumbnail of the other one. I didn't realize that what's his name was on the podcast. I totally missed him. You must have talked to him before I got there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was there oh very my. quick, very quick. Uh, it took me forever to find an image that I could use. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't see oh me. So uh, what have y'all been playing this week? Hmm. Should uh, I go first? Well, yes. you want to go first, Eric? Yeah. Go on, Eric. No, no, no. You, you got, got it, Matt. No, 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 Eric. What do you? See? You looked excited to say something. I, uh, I, I, I was going to ask a question uh, oh. rather than uh, say what I was playing. What's your question? <laughs> should Should Nat go first so we can go get dinner <laughs> once I start talking? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why are you like this? Why are both of you like this? Uh, For anybody who is tuning in right now, or anybody who is still here, Eric and Anthony have decided that they are going to relive their heydays in RuneScape. I abhor and loathe the thought, even the note, of RuneScape on on the tip of anyone's tongue. Okay, okay. Interesting topic, no, then. No, Nat, Nat, no. Nat, what is the thing you dislike the most about RuneScape? I hate how old it is. Nat, you're old. I know. <laughs> and I hate that. I mean, like, I don't hate that part of me. I, let me rephrase. I don't hate that part of me. It's more so that I hate the fact that the people who have made this game, 
understand that they don't really need to reinvent the wheel. They have something golden and there's no reason for them to change it. And far be it from me to say that they need to change their business model and and their game for my tastes. I hate that game. It's, it, it, it's just the way that it is. I remember, I can vividly remember my first experience with RuneScape in a library in Kingwood. It was uh, Harris, no, not Harris County. What was it called? I was about to uh, say, that's Swickley? pretty fair. Not Swickley. No, that's in Pen- Pennsylvania. Anyway, went to the library, sat down, and somebody told me that RuneScape was, was amazing. I booted it up, and I remember playing it for five minutes and going, this is stupid. I'm going to go find a book and read it. Guys, a 13-year-old me said, I'm going to read a book rather than play a video game. Now, I uh, Mm -mm. there are a lot of books that are way better than a lot of video games, to be fair. For sure. For sure. There are a lot of good books out there. I went to go read a Brian Jakes book. You know what I do? Listen to books while I play RuneScape. That's stupid. You know, I, I agree with Ash. You're you're a old you're an old folks hater. You're basically punching grandparents. <laughs> I see no problems with this. In fact, you've made it easier for me to say that I hate old I hate old things. That's fine. What do you want me to say? I'm the I'm I'm the bad guy of the podcast. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Two, one of the thir- one third of this podcast is a is a RuneScape and old person hater. That's okay. <laughs> That's fair. That's fine. That's fine. Fair. I just play games that are good. Oh, oh, it hurts. Oh, a low blow below the belt. Raph. Well, well, unfortunately, I do have to counter that because RuneScape has so far in an MMO the best questing that I've experienced in my entire life because I actually want to read it and I have never felt compelled to uh-huh. read any That's other fair. MMOs quest lines. I totally, just skip it. Totally fair. Totally fair. I remember. So that would mean it is a good game. I that does not quantify that it's a good game. There are some things that you can read from really bad games that like don't connotate to it being good. But I'm not. I'm not arguing a, against the fact that you feel as if the game is good because well, I'm sure for a I lot actually, of people the game is good. I would personally argue that the game is bad because let me let let me because you know i believe I see what you guys are doing no, i see what you guys are doing i, I, I no, legitimately no, 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 think no, it's a bad no, game no i will not be sucked into a conversation about runescape no no no. i'm gonna talk about the game that i did play i can explain no, in a very two no, seconds no you could talk to it with eric no no i will not give any more time to runescape I I'm, I'm not talking about runescape this is not about runescape this is not about runescape I refuse this is not what, what is it i refuse a game <laughs> is only good if you can take everything mm-hmm. away from it but the gameplay mechanics take away the music take away the sound effects take away the story it has to be a fun bike to ride and then it's a good game otherwise i argue it's not a game it is a hybrid thing it's something different like a visual novel you know what i mean like there are game things in it game game things but the game the pong the brick breaker the core aspect of engaging with it is not good. It's just click this, click that. Now, I think Eric would argue something that I haven't experienced about a game that we're not talking about anymore and that he might be right about. I haven't experienced it though. So we'll move on. If, you know what? Before we move on though, what what game were you thinking I, I would like to talk about I'm, no, no. I, I, game mechanic I'm not the game mechanic of the game we're not talking about would be like um rhythm game stuff i haven't experienced that in this I see. game I see. Yeah. so maybe that part is yeah, good I but unfortunately i haven't experienced that i would still argue it's bad because i don't experience it right away if i experience that's it right fair. away that's fair. I, that's fair. I, I, I understand your uh, your concern mm-hmm. there, for sure mm-hmm. i will mm-hmm. also note that um the great artosis agrees with me the great artosis. I've been I've been saying this forever, and I just found out watching day nine. He's like, Artosis says this. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, what have you so, been playing? I have been playing a lot of Prince of Persia. Oh yeah, you're finally like sitting down and like going through it. Yeah, I'm actually starting to play it. 
And at first, I was like a just like a simp being like, "Oh, it's good. It's a good game. I've heard that the developers put a lot of heart into it. It's got a great a lot. Of, there's a lot of player love in the game, as well as like developer love, evident in the actual product. I've been playing this game for like three days straight. Okay, and no, four days. Um, and guys, the the gameplay is so satisfyingly difficult. God. So super like you're going to get to certain points with the game where you realize that you have to stop playing like an idiot, which is always great. Uh, I love one of our game checks me at the door and says, Hey, put your, like take off your idiot coat, actually start thinking about what the inputs that you're putting into your controller are. Cause if you don't, I'm going to check you and I'm going to make your ass hurt. Um, also the movement they there's something to be said about a studio who understands how to make you feel like what you do matters just regardless of whether or not you move the stick left or right and these guys get it um platforming is super solid it will punish you for being super spammy um if you don't think about what you're doing you're gonna get checked um the only game that's gotten close to the, that kind of like engagement is for me is Hollow Knight. I'm not saying that this is a Hollow Knight, but it's close for anybody who's like itching to get that kind of uh, visceral feel. The story is so far at least a seven, at least a seven. And sometimes at some points it's an eight. I'm not sure if it's going to get any better, but we'll see. The powers that we get in this game, you guys, I was not imagining. Like, so there's usually like a set few of uh powers that you get in Metroidvanias. There's a um some form of um, access key that you can use that lets you like phase through or or opens uh, sealed doors. Um, there's a double jump mechanic. There's very often also some kind of um, change of state from the map. So as you're going through, you'll be able to change how it looks or how it how you uh, interact with it. Um, for I don't think there's one in Hollow Knight. Let me think of another one uh no there isn't hollow knight whenever you get the shadow form and you can pass through those shadow barriers that's one version of it in this game the way that they incorporate them is so satisfying like there is there's layers to it that i can't really go into because i feel like i would go into spoilers and I don't want to spoil this game for you because I, I really want you guys to play this game. This is really good. This is this is really good. Um, I haven't even beat the game. There is story, and then like finally for me, story. I uh, graphics wise, it's 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 great. I'm not even gonna go ahead and go into go into depth for that. It's great. Um, play, gameplay already talked about it. Story wise, the engagement of the general idea of what Prince of Persia is and then them turning it on their on its head and then approaching it from this at this angle chef's kiss really good stilted voice acting not the best like script wise obviously not their forte but like the actual story beats themselves I'm digging it. There's a there's a villain in this game that I'm like, God, I want to play as you. Oh my god! The, and that's and that's a great uh, problem to have as as a game. Being like the player wants to be the villain. Like if you could play God of War from the per, per, from the perspective of Thor, would you? Yes, of course, hundred percent. I would love to go ahead and find out what like. Uh, development tree he goes through find out what things we're not actually picking up as we go through and then also that power fantasy same thing here fantastic so I can give nothing but glowing re- reviews for this game I would I would say this is like an 8 8.5 for me it's not uh-huh. perfect but 
and it's a little buggy in certain certain like instances sound does drop out in certain places and then you uh i haven't dropped through the floor yet but there are some things that were like you'll clip and you'll be like well that wasn't exactly what i wanted to do but this works fi- this works fine too because you'll be in the middle of boss battle and it works for you the best thing i see about <sighs> this game is that it's priced at the uh, max you should ever have to pay for a video game how much is it right now it's 40, yeah, 40 bucks. bucks yeah you should guys, never have to pay more than 40 dollars for a video game this game is fantastic i think i got this thing for 30 bucks honestly really and i would have paid full price i think i did pay, pay full price because yeah, it just the came out edition. Like but two it's, weeks ago. it's fairly new it's really good i i really wish more people uh i wish that it got uh higher than mostly positive for some of the reviews i haven't looked at some of the reviews to be honest i wanted to go in there as like as i mean mostly positive possible, is a really good review yeah mostly yeah. positive the biggest complaint that i've i've heard from the little reading i've done about it is that it's missing uh, a lot of people that I've read that have done in-depth reviews are saying similar things. They love the gameplay. They love certain aspect of it. Their biggest complaint that drops it to like a seven or eight is that it's missing the thing that makes some of those classic Metroidvanias like special. Mm. Like the thing like Dracula's inverted castle. Yeah. Or, you know, it's missing the reveal in Hollow Knight when you first, you know, yeah. start doing the extra collecting. And then you are like, I've only explored 10% of the map, but I beat the whole game. What, what, what? You know, I'm sure. Yeah, I can like, definitely agree to that. For and sure. that's that that seems to be the only complaint that I've heard yeah. outside of that. It's been mostly glowing reviews. It's a great it's a great Metroidvania so, like, for also, somebody who loves it. I wonder, I don't know. I think Ubisoft has like an Xbox Game Pass type of thing. So you might be able to try this game for a subscription for a month. You know, like the price of a subscription. Yeah. You can beat this game in a month. You could do all the things that you wanted to do in in a month. You would have to play just this game, though. Ubisoft Plus? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like those subscription things. I mean, I know that the idea behind a subscription is that you forget about it and then you mm-hmm. get screwed. You stick. But yeah. ultimately, when you get like Xbox Game Pass, there's no way you would ever buy all of the games that you can play there. And it's no. just the opportunity is insane. It's so much better than like a Netflix subscription. <laughs> you know, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> like, way more, maybe more worth it to me. <laughs> I was about to say, if you're going through and play, buying, playing some of these games already, yeah, and like. Yeah, do the subscription, play through those games. Like I, I like you. I, I don't think it's necessary if you're not playing through all of these. But mm-hmm. like, if you already are, you're wasting money if you're not yeah. going through the subscription. Yeah. yeah, that's why I used to I argue. Am. I used to argue that Sea of Thieves is a ten dollar game or something like that because when it came out, it, really it was is. the flagship for Game Pass, and that's why it wasn't a game. It was, it was a mostly polished alpha. <laughs> because there was like nothing to do <laughs> you know it, 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 it just mm-hmm. don't get me started on that game anthony <laughs> oh man anyway um fantastic game guys um not a must play honestly unless you're really into metroidvanias like i love the genre i probably should play castlevania at some point in time I have never played Castlevania, guys. Dude, you should play it. It's good. I It's <sighs> dated now, but it's, it's still good. I get that. I've seen so many amazing renditions of this genre of Metroidvania yeah. that I'm scared to rewind. I mean, so there is something to be said about, you know, the original castle there is something about you know symphony of the night that is just not done true anymore because no studios like, would do it no so nobody expensive. no well not even that nobody has recreated in my opinion what made symphony of the night special the, what's, the, what, ga- what the what gameplay is better you? the knowledge gameplay. based exploration exploration oh okay so it goes deeper than just like what we've been exposed to with like hollow knight and yeah 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 yeah. i think hollow knight's probably the closest the hollow knight i'd like here's the thing 
I would argue that Hollow Knight is the better version of this type of game. Like I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to cut corners there, right? Like Team Cherry did an incredible yeah, job and it makes I'm not sense. saying yeah. that Symphony of the Night is better than Hollow Knight. But what I am saying is that even a Hollow Knight that has done something that I think is better didn't do exactly the same sort of special that Symphony of the Night did and I don't think anybody's recreated that. That no. is like that moment for me as a kid mm -hmm. that moment when you discover that second castle is insane. is insane yeah insane right like that was something even, that was even, so I've special never played the game i've never played the game and i know about it that's the yeah. thing yeah it is it, that cutscene is famous in the gaming world yeah right it redefined what it meant to, to learn about a game and enjoy a game and to really explore a game. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah. And there are games that have done things similar. This is why things like Fez and the, the there was a recent one with the Fox that came out recently. That Tunic. Cost, yeah, Tunic. Yeah. These sorts of games that challenge your way of thinking about a game near Automata. Really good. Tunic says any of these knowledge based experiences where it changes how you think about gaming and what a game yeah. can portray or give you through its gameplay is super special. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is not as good as newer Metroidvanias if you just look at playing the game and engaging with the mechanics. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah. It was a it's a dated game in that regard. True. But in regards to exploring the world and changing how you view games, this is one of those types of games that does it differently than any other game since and any other and it's, it's like it's the halo of the Metroidvania world. Yeah. yeah it, it sets it sets the bar for what sets actually the bar. exists. Yeah. yeah. It opened a new door for gaming. Yeah. And that door can't ever be reopened by another game. In yeah. my opinion, yeah. we can open new doors. We can do new things, but that door belongs solely to Castlevania and Symphony of the Night. And, and that's Question. something that's worth playing. Question before I go ahead and let you guys speak about your RuneScape, because I know you are itching <laughs> to do so. Actually, I, there's something else I wanted to talk about, although I haven't played oh, it. Oh, OK. OK. I've been playing. I was too. curious about thoughts. I've been playing something else. Need Oh, okay. are we actually going to have a discussion? Okay. This is incredible. Anyway, let me go ahead and just like say my thing. Um, yeah. Do you feel as if, and this is like, this flies in the face of a lot of people because there are some people who are diehards on either side. Do you feel that Final Fantasy was eventually upscaled and made... Uh, and it was upscaled and the success for successor for the RPG like best of all time sets the bar is Persona from Shin Megami Tensei. Uh or, what do you what exactly are you trying I know, to ask? I know. It completely went sideways. It's the whiskey. Anyway. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Halo sets the bar for first person shooter. Okay. Um Warhammer set the stage for RTS. Oh, sorry, no, not Warhammer. Starcraft set the stage for RTS. Um, In terms of RPG, most people would say Final Fantasy. Do you feel as if that is a fair approximation? Or do you think that Shin Megami Tensei and their Persona series make a very good case that they took the model and flipped it into a way that most people feel maybe an improvement uh and, and uh, i don't even think it can be argued final fantasy changed the gaming sphere so much that it almost single-handedly brought gaming from the brink of death like oh, okay like like the original final That's fantasies fair. the original final fantasy literally yeah. proved that gaming was a thing still, but I'm talking. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about impact. I'm talking about in terms of RTS. I'm not saying because I can. I 
I agree with you. R- RT, like in terms of gaming history, Final Fantasy cannot be topped. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, because they literally they they we live we live on the backs of their work. Yeah, like everything that we have now is because Final Fantasy did what they did. Yeah, I can it, give you mechanics for most every game that is released today. That and comes I guarantee from you yeah. one of the first implementations of those mechanics was uh, uh, either Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy inspired, but actually came from like a text based mud type of deal. Mm, you know? fair. Yeah. Like. But in terms of just RTS, we're not looking at history defining. I'm talking about the actual functions of the of the game. So, like, if you think RTS, the like a a RTS game, do you feel like Final Fantasy has stopped contributing as much to say that they are the leader and center of the tone, or do oh, you feel like Persona yeah, or Shinigami I, Tensei has now become like the status that most people compare themselves to when talking about a real-time strategy game or do you, you mean like an it's rpg you mean yeah, an RPG. rpg rpg sorry rpg i mean RPG. i i think right now for better or for worse we still live under the shadow of a of a something Fantasy outside VII. of these games <laughs> no, no 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 outside of these games oh okay. i think we still live under the shadow of the skyrim era Oh, and a lot of games right now, that. like like Persona is doing a lot of really cool stuff. They 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 have things that are super unique. They're they're driving mm-hmm. into a wall and discovering new ground. Yeah, in the same way, Final Fantasy used to do that, and now they're just too big. They're kind of playing it safe. Fair. We have this problem nowadays where every game right now is trying to create the next Skyrim. The next game that we can release 50 times and it's still Fair. the top seller when it's released again. Ridiculous. Right? And Ridiculous. everybody jokes oh and memes about this, but Skyrim did something with its timing and its implementation that captured a moment in gaming history mm-hmm. and just changed it's everything. Realizing. Right? Yeah. Like, why was like there are still games today trying to make a Viking <laughs> magic dragon simulator <laughs> and they're pushing it in every single the dragons were out of gaming almost entirely until Skyrim came back. And guess what? Every freaking game on the After planet that had a dragon in it. Has a dragon in it again, yeah. right? Dragon yeah. is back in popular media because of game of thrones and uh skyrim Skyrim coming out at around the same time fair right and i think right now rpgs still live under the shadow of Of skyrim Skyrim. interesting anthony anthony your thoughts your two cents my friend there's this game called dragon quest (laughs) yeah yes by, yes, uh, by Akira Toriyama. Yeah. So uh, Ooh, Anthony, I feel, Anthony, I feel if you heard about, right? well, I feel like Anthony didn't know who did that game until we just said it. Do you, you know that's no. Akira Toriyama, right? Like that's the guy who created Dragon Ball. Did not know that. No. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you think the art looks so mean? similar? I've never mean? played it before. <laughs> really? Oh mm. man. It's, Anthony. Oh, okay. By the way, I should go ahead and say a few Just things. Saying you uh, said there hasn't been a dragon game, 1986, Anthony. 87, 88, there was, 90, 95, there was 2000, 2004, 2009. I mean, the, I the mean, from a quest. Yeah. Saying there's just I mean, dragon. From a general standpoint, yes. I'm just Obviously, with there me. were dragons. I'm just you messing with me. you. There's, there's but, apparently um, there's this weird thing about people like me where you hear something and your brain just hyper fixates on, I don't think that's right. And you try to find out whether or not it's not right. And like, I don't know, you're just probably still right. It's just funny. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously there were right. dragon games, but I don't think it was there, on the map. Yeah. 
I don't it, yeah. like Dragon Quest was big, but I think there's a level of difference that mm. I could argue against somebody that Dragon Quest was nowhere near as popular a game as Skyrim became. So sure. I actually, so Ash brings it up. I, she says, I don't play RPGs. I enjoyed playing Star, uh, Star Citizen, Jesus Christ. Skyrim. <laughs> Whiskey, man. Whiskey. <laughs> I enjoyed Whiskey. playing Skyrim and I always wanted to beat it. And games like Skyrim are literally one of the big reasons that I've wanted to try to make content and maybe like have a legitimate like reason to play games for a long amount of time mm -hmm. instead of you know mow the grass uh <laughs> yeah hey skyrim, skyrim skyrim was amazing well, skyrim yeah. still is amazing. It is amazing. it's a thing that i i just there's like a weird thing that happens where i have a certain amount of time that i can put into a game and mm. then too many things change outside of me playing the game so i would have to play the game it would have to be my job. That's literally the the, the requirement for me to play Witcher three to and to yeah, I would have to play eight, eight hours a day and wait, then I could do wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. I I can't pause, eat. he hasn't pause. beaten Witcher Three. I don't man. have enough. Time. Don't beaten. bring it up. Don't do that. Stop. Stop. I have I've played and replayed the beginning of that game as many times as I have with Skyrim. Because I have wanted to play through it. I've wanted to beat it. But these games are literally too long ah. and they fall off the map. Then seasons change. People start talking about different games. They want to play those games and stuff like that. And so it's just like, I can't play the game fast enough to get through it. I understand. The deepest I, I ever got was actually because I was like basically bedridden. I played a lot of... Um, what is that cyberpunk game? <laughs> cyberpunk. cyberpunk 2077. 2077. I played a lot of that and that was really great. Um, it's not quite yeah, the same yeah. thing, but I still really enjoyed it to an extent. Like there, I, I wish it was the way it is now. The way it is now is apparently really great. Um, it is really, I have replayed it since they what? did the new expansion and it's really good. No, I'm, I'm just saying it like in awe. It like, sucks. I'm, th I'm thinking back to like the times when I actually started playing the Witcher three and not realizing what I was playing <laughs> and, and then like playing the expansions and then getting really into it because there would be Man. times where like, it would, it would be literally what I woke up and started playing and then went to sleep and started after stopping playing i mean like the wild, all I wild did. hunt's just insane it's so good anthony like but you here's get, the like, here's ugh. the thing here's the thing that like and i have to agree to some some extent you do have to like pick and choose it's because true. if you want to complete the entirety of witcher 3 and you want to really <laughs> enjoy it by the way because i think you really need to you need to enjoy it yeah you're like going to be playing hours. between 107 and 180 oh hours. Even if I was a full time streamer, like, <laughs> are you sure? 20, like, okay, no, it's actually, like you're right. If you, you, would do, to, you would have to speed run the actual story yes, to get to the If end, you want to right. rush the main story, it yeah. is 32 hours. And but the main story is not why you fall in love with that game, no. it's great. But the main story builds upon all of these side quests and world building mm -hmm. and other things that really make the game special. If you want to rush, speed run slash rush the main and just a few of the extras, you're looking at doubling that time. Yeah. If you actually want to get a completion of like 80%, you're looking between 100 and 150 hours Jesus, minimum. man. And that's like, that's one of the other reasons that... um games like that are difficult for me is that when I go to play a game, I'm very much like going rock climbing or riding a bike, or I'm trying to do a specific activity. The story isn't what's important to me. So I need to be in a very specific like mood and have a lot of time type of thing where I'm like, I am ready to read. I'm ready to be engaged in this sort of other thing that is not just me dancing on the keyboard or feeling awesome immersion on the controller or racing with a literal steering wheel for like, like legit immersion, you know, type of thing. Now, Anthony, okay. would you say that you are playing 
So you would be playing The Witcher 3 at a leisurely pace. Yeah, because I played it and I enjoyed the shit out of like just okay. going around and I would want to feel like I live there. Like I would I feel fair. super, I want to be immersed. 100%, 100%. Nat. This is the game. Nat, no, I want you to guess what the leisure playtime is for a me to guess? completionist run of The Witcher 3. If you just want to complete 95 to 100% of the game. I typed my guess 95 in. 95 to 100? I typed my guess yeah. in. I typed my guess in. What would your leisure in. pace average be? Man, like mine? or <laughs> No, <laughs> no. <else>? Just <laughs> generally. What would, how long would it take somebody to leisurely go through and complete 90-ish to 90, 100% of the game? Let me, let me do some math real quick. <laughs> I'm just curious what your thought is. And I'll tell you what the average is. And we'll understand the problem. I really like guessing numbers. I'm gonna I say put a number down so hours. fast. Oh wow, you're you're crazy. Okay, yeah. it, well, it I is mean, not, like, that's, that's it is not this bad. Y'all are crazy. We're both no, crazy. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it, it, yeah, it'd be around four hundred to four hundred and fifty hours of game time. Okay, that's so that's, a lot. That's, that is that's, that's ten reasonable. weeks of full time. That's, that's ten. Reasonable. That's ten it's weeks fine. of full time. Can you imagine like a streamer doing that? Yeah, I could, honestly. They have. Yeah. Like, oh man, the game, Anthony. So, like, to, and, and if you wanted to put that into like RuneScape perspective, because this is pretty interesting, you could max half of your skills in that. That's, Something. I'm guessing, a lot of time. Anyway. It's just, it's like crazy uh, amounts of time. Dude, just to like well, enjoy he's saying, a game he's saying at it a takes leisure 800 pace. hours to max out in RuneScape. Yeah, it, it's a it's about 80 hours per skill on average. No, then it's more than 800 hours, Eric. There's like 30 skills. Are there 30 skills? It's close. No, you can, There's 20 something you, skills, dude. Uh, not not all of them are 80 hours. Oh, okay. Not all of them. That's like the long. long Anyways. Game. Either way. Either way. Anyways. I think, I, yeah. like I said, I think you could get half of the skills maxed in that. I've, yeah. I think, and we've stumbled across another game that kind of sets the bar, but like the open world, open world, like ideal has all, has like revolved around the Witcher at this point. The Witcher yeah. 3. It is specifically the, it, the Witcher like, 3. For better or for worse, the Witcher 3 right now is still one of the best, if not still the best implementation of an open yeah. world game uh, RPG of its yeah. time. Yeah, for sure. It's just amazing. It's well done, well crafted story, great world building, great mechanics. It is just, it is the implementation of that that people should try to meet. It is so difficult to meet that, by the way, that like, even cyberpunk had difficulties coming close. Well, and this is one of those things that a, a lot of games take for granted that I often argue is that if you want a good story, you start with a book. And guess what? The Witcher has a really good a book, book series. That's true. It's true. They, I haven't read any of it. They've been doing it with it's, movies for years. They take good books and they make a movie. You got to start doing the same it, thing with video games if you want to put stories in it. They, Could you fair. imagine like... Well, this is why uh, George that? R. They're they're hiring like George R. R. Martin, R. A. Salvatore, and these other authors to, to write for to them. write yeah. some of these large games. This is why you Who's know this one for R. A. Uh, that was the Reckoning, um, Kingdoms of oh, Kingdoms of Amalur. That Kingdoms was, of oh, Amalur. God, I loved that game. Very it good. Wasn't, game. It was not good, Eric. It's okay. You it was very oh, pretty. No, 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 no. The story was the amazing. The story was good. The, story the was game good. Play gameplay was, was flawed. Ass. I actually really the loved gameplay the gameplay. Was flawed. I played the shit out of that game. Uh, <laughs> it is fun at a surface level, Anthony. And I yeah. think for the first like 20 hours, you'll enjoy it. But I it's like it an 80 like hour four game. Hours. It's so long, yeah. dude. The first four hours of gameplay are amazing. All the way through. Uh, but if yeah. you play all the way through, once you get about. 25 to 30 percent through the game you're over it man. you start to find a lot of just flaws and there's a lot of just tedious weird shit you gotta yeah. like it's like it feels like you have you're doing a spartan race where you have all of these cool things that you want to do mm -hmm. but you're trudging through four foot mud to get to the next obstacle it's true right sounds like dark and, souls 
You're not wrong. Yeah, that's fair. You're not wrong. <laughs> I happen to enjoy yeah. that part of Dark Souls, but you're not yeah. wrong. I the totally of, agree. I understand that. The tedium in King of, uh, Kingdoms of Amor yeah. is not yeah. to be downplayed. It yeah. is, it is yeah, not yeah. fun. But the story for Kingdoms of Amor kingdoms of amler is amazing still mm-hmm. to this to mm-hmm. this day that story that story is amazing it's RA's, very it's like RA, the world's really cool honest. it's very ra yeah it's very fun um same thing with elden elden ring and having yeah. george R. R. martin write the history for elden ring guess what elden ring has the best history in the, in be- the, the most fleshed the out story yeah. of all of the series Strange how that works out huh guys they have an author <laughs> writing it like oh of course i would so this is my last little thing because I know that you guys are. Itch- well, actually, no. You might. You guys might actually have something other than f- RuneScape to speak about. So I might stick around. Um, my last little thing. Uh, hopefully, I will be beating uh, Prince of Persia this week, and I'm moving to Nine Souls. Look, mm. it's got overwhelmingly p- positive on Steam. Yeah. It's the only game that I have not seen anybody play. All the po- yeah. all the people that I watch stream or whatever, which is really not a lot, so don't like take my my uh, word at face value. But out of everybody that I've seen play video games, I've never seen anybody play in this game, and it's got overwhelmingly positive. So I'm just like, what? Yeah, what's this is going an overwhelmingly on? positive review. On what's Steam? going on? Wait, what game? I did I miss Nine, Nine Souls. Souls? Oh, it's a parry based. Uh, soul, not uh, Metroidvania as it's a Metroidvania Souls like, Souls like, yeah. And it's like, how could you have overwhelmingly positive and not everybody? I haven't seen one playthrough of it, like just scrolling through YouTube, it, it just boggles my mind. So I'm just like, I'm wondering what's going on. It's very cute, it's very um, stylized, it's dark, dude. Yeah, because like, the like intro art from video an art is, style, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the intro video is crazy. It ro- yeah. So when I was watching some of the trailer and playthroughs, it really gave off this feeling of um, what is it called? Um, man, I, I loved this game, and I, I it's in my library somewhere. Uh, anyways, anyway, but yeah, that's my next game. Uh, I think. Unless like something wild comes out of the freaking ether, um, I've been watching the release, uh, the Gamescom footage for Mo- Monster Hunter Wilds, and it's been like, it's been fueling my day because every single time I see it, I'm just like, soon, soon. I think I'm gonna learn how to actually play Charge Blade. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Dude, Charge Blade is interesting. Charge Blade is insane. Like the the. I, won't go I love it. playing it's, Charge Blade, but good. I never ever cared nor figured out blocking. <laughs> huh? Dude, you need to, like what you need guard point? Yeah, I, I just love going oh, boom, boom, everyone that dies. Is. Your tail has been severed. <laughs> oh. oh, Anthony. <laughs> so satisfying. I mean, I, I tried to guard a few times, but I'm just like, I'll just roll. <laughs> like I don't I need mean, to guard. I mean, I oh still, I still just love Insect Life. Such a great game. Anyway, um, that was my thing. Uh, God, I know I still need to play Raven's Watch. It's downloaded on my PC, but from what I've heard, their 1.0 hasn't come out yet. So I'm kind of holding off until they drop it, and then I'm wanting to go in like fully wet, it's fully dry, so that I can like fully submerge. We'll see. So, uh, for me, I, I don't really have much to say about RuneScape. Like, I played it while I was going through an online class, uh, okay. which was supposed to be three hours, and then it was like eight hours. And that's, I mean, it's a fidget spinner. I got to see numbers go up, and it made going through that class way easier. Um, nice. So, I appreciate it for that. But I, I agree. It's, it's, a, it's a dull game, game-wise. Um, I have played a very exciting new sequel to a game that I think maybe all of us have enjoyed and loved. Some people call it an expansion, but uh, it's a sequel to World of Warcraft Warcraft. Legion. Yeah. I've been playing World of Warcraft, the war within, which is finally talking about what we all cared about, which is what's going on with Azeroth. What the, the Titan in the inside, 
the, yeah. the freaking girl that came out of the dagger. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. I can't remember her name, and it's so far so good. The dragon, Shethkanath. No, that, what's the name of the the, the dagger? Zarathus. No, 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 the dagger. Ash knows uh, the name of the dagger. Good. It's on her she forearm. Has the tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, you there? <laughs> it's the name of the dagger. Um, but yeah, the game's really great. Uh, sky riding, the new way of flying your 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 mount is just so awesome and engaging. From Dragonflight, you Zalatoth, mean? Zalatoth, Zalatoth, not yeah. Zarathith, Zalatoth. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. But yeah, sky riding's really cool because uh, it's like a little mini game that you play, and you can go like seven hundred something percent movement speed. It's insane how fast you can move. Did the, you, Did you play any of uh, Dragonflight? No, I mean, I tried, but I I tried to play Dragonflight, but I was like, this sucks. Um, Mm. But yeah, the the pre-patch event was a lot of fun. That's all I did this, not all I did this weekend. That is what I, that's all within, I didn't pre-purchase the thing. I didn't get access. I didn't get early Mm. access. That's the word. Mm. Um, (laughs) Ash can't remember how to spell it. Uh, Anyways. (laughs) Um... Yeah, the pre-patch event was great. It's neat uh, how like they're doing all these throwbacks and like m- making fun of uh, different world, uh, different things that has happened over time. Like they'll have like a hogger event. Um, they had a event where you're trying to find a boar liver because it's a stupid ass quest where everyone's trying to find a oh boar God, liver. I but like now it's quest. everybody's trying to find the golden glorious gore liver. And when someone finally kills a thing that has it, it like rises into the sky and it's this giant magnificent gore liver that someone finally found. That's um, disgusting and I hate it. It's hilarious. <laughs> I bet it, it's no, it's funny. It's, freaking it's just funny. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> Magni is freaking salty as hell because his beloved Azeroth just freaking left him for the past several years and hasn't been talking to him. Just like you yeah, know, like solid. Last time we talked to her was you know, what Lich played. Uh, it was Le- the Lich King. It was no, it was Legion. Legion. Yeah, was oh, Legion. It was Legion. Legion. So okay. what? What they're doing is they're making fun of the fact that they did what BFA and then Shadows yeah. and then mm-hmm. Dragonflight, Dragon and we were Flight. all like in Legion. We're like, this is great story. What's next? Where are we going? Oh, we're not going anywhere with it. And it's just like just throw. Well, I mean, throw now something. that like now that uh, Metzen is back, you know, we're I mean, actually. Yeah, and it gets story. It's a Brett. Yeah. Oh, Chris and Metzen. It's funny yeah. because just the other day, like I think last podcast, we were talking about how World of Warcraft feels flat in yeah. terms of the mechanics. And yeah. in some cases, yes, and certain classes aren't as good as others. But I was playing on like a mage to level it up because the pre-patch was really great for leveling. Um, uh-huh. And like spellcasters are really neat when they have like these procs and stuff. And it just feels like you're kind of dancing on the keyboard and trying to get certain things right. And it's like it's more engaging than I expected it to be. It, it, it was kind of like a rhythm game, um, which is awesome. And then even like, I think even the Paladin is gotten better. Uh, Paladin used oh, to feel really things. flat, um, but e- even that is more rhythm like. And then my favorite for the longest time has been the demon hunter um, who is still fun, but I'm not sure if that one is going to be as engaging as the others. We'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. yeah, but it's been good. I, I, yeah, I don't think that any other game on the market has my favorite mechanic of gaming that I've fallen in love with, and that is healing raids. Eric, you have to let it go, my friend. No, no other game on the market has ever done it justice. WoW's the only one that does it well. Do you and feel like there is a do you feel like there is a direct correlation to another activity that does the exact same thing? Or uh, is it just no. healing and raids? No, it's really the only one. I've tried out everything. Oh. I don't think there is any gaming experience that I'm is sorry. on par with healing and raids across the board. So, well, mm. on the other end of the spectrum, Ash just reminded me Uh, because she was like am i the tank now like what the heck like are you just abandoning me are you not my tank anymore um she's been playing some paladin stuff and whatnot no i've been now you're never around i've been the tank forever Um, 
<laughs> we try to get you to play WoW. It, it, we, we're, we're not. I'm not even asking you to play WoW because when I ask you, you're like, never. <laughs> I will never play that game. So I'm not. I'm not asking. I'm playing WoW. Um, and Thank whenever we raid, you need boundaries. two tanks, huh? That's true. That's true. Wait, did what did we ever play with that? N- never mind. Go to do with your story. Anyways, we um, I think that tanking feels a little flatter in open world generic easy content because tanking is really great in a raid or a dungeon when you have to save people's asses for being idiots or because they're in danger. And mm. there's a there's a lot of fun in that like as my demon hunter, oh, you over there are dying. I'm just going to turn into a freaking demon, leap across the room, land there in an instant and save your ass. Like that is a fun thing to do that doesn't happen as often in the open world. And then in the open world, it's fun to like pull a ton of things and not die. Like you just feel like awesome. It's true. But yeah. like in the, in the pre-patch event, when you have so many people as a tank, she's just not scared of anything. And it's just, uh, it, it becomes a little flat. I think I think in general, my there are so many problems that I've had with WoW, and I've played every expansion. Uh, for anybody listening, I have gone back for almost every expansion. Damn, Eric, you're down and, bad, dude. I mean, I look. I am telling you, there it literally has. There is no other game that does healing. Or does the it's not like it's healing and raids in WoW is the most fun mechanic in gaming for me, full stop, ever done. And no other game has even come close to mimicking that level of gameplay. What level me. of this is nostalgia and what level of this is actual gameplay? Because I can agree. No, it's there it's is. there is no nostalgia in that. I have played this so much. I've done this so much. I've tried so many other games. I have rated top level at uh, multiple MMOs. I've tried other oh. different things. EverQuest, which I have more nostalgia for, does not give me the same gameplay mechanic mm. feeling that healing from WoW does. Like, so and I love EverQuest. I must, and I, I have must share there. this because Eric has said this many a time throughout the years, and I have never understood it until we were playing, I think it was uh, World of Warcraft classic but not classic to read seasons of discovery seasons of discovery because of seasons of discovery eric taught me how he heals and he specifically heals with a required add-on this is not natural in-game healing and it is far better than in-game healing because you have like a frames you have a yeah, grid it's, a, it's, it's, like it's like a it, click. it's it's like a puzzle solving ddr like rhythm game thing that you turn it into because you've got like all of the buttons on your mouse like every button is on your mouse and you put your mouse over a person and you click but you don't just click maybe you mouse click or right click or thumb click or this click and whatever click you do does a thing and so it's like, for your and so you're going like really fast, like cool. I'm keeping everybody alive. Oh, I got to dodge yes. that. Cause I'm about to die. Like it is so much better than the natural way of playing it that I can't believe that it's not like the way that you do it. Yeah. And That's most, super most people who raid like seriously do it the exact same way. Like you have to do it this way to get to a certain level. Anybody who's not doing this way, th- this way, just is not as good a healer, and it's no. What you need to, to, you have to, you have to maintain mo- all movement and or mechanic wise movement on your left hand, and you have to do all forms of healing and or maintenance on your right hand, and a combination because, like, no matter what kind of mouse you have, a healing and wow requires different scenarios, right? Yeah, like you're gonna have magic cleansing, you're gonna have yeah, your you quick have- heals. So I had different modifiers that I would press and I'd have to have, I'd have different essentially layers of keyboard presses that would determine which heal that I use or which type that I do. And then I would have different identifiers and color coding and all of these things. So my screen will sit there and I'll have my grid of people and there will be different colors showing up. I know what every color means. I have different timers for each of those different colors. 
I know when debuffs are going to go off. I know when the buffs are going to happen. I know if my tank used shield wall. I know how long that shield wall is going to last. You know, you memorize all these things. You learn all mm. these things. And in my head, I'm keeping track of all of that and playing the mechanics. What does and, baby Eric look like in this? <laughs> like, what does baby MMO Eric look like in this? Like, I, I did I, this. I, I can't I assume that I, you, can you, you jumped into this and you were like, oh, yeah. Dude, can you I imagine how much harder you, it was? Because he used to have that. every single level of, like, flash of heal and the different mana oh, types yeah. to choose between. Back in the day, it was even different. You know what I mean? And I yeah, would for, I would do sure. each one. And depending on how long the fight no. was and how much I had to reserve my mana, like, this was why... Um, I, so Classic WoW had pretty cool rating, in my opinion. Uh, and a lot of people like it better because the 40 mans are very unique. True. However, my favorite raids were all in... Um, uh burning burning crusade yeah man. and burning crusade you had all of the different levels so i would have different modifiers and all of those types of things on top of the normal ones or the spell level down that i'm using depending mm. on how much mana i need to conserve so like if you're not gonna get hit for a while crazy i'm gonna use you know rank layer one or instead of rank yeah. five yeah man. stuff like that one of the I nicest say I will say that Burning Crusade rating, well, rating in general, because that was my first rating experience, but like rating in general was like, there's nothing like going through an encounter knowing that if you fuck up, it's over. Yeah. That rating, and the, be here's the thing, in yeah, WoW especially, it, especially back then, now it's different, right? Here's mm -hmm. the thing. A lot of people are going to be like, it is 100% harder now. And I agree. Yeah. If you're looking at mythic rating, mythic rating now is just ridiculously more complica complicated than it used to be. I concede. You're okay. entirely right. But there was something extremely special about how rating was done then without all of the add-ons, without all of the capabilities that you had now. True. Where... It was just more intense in some cases. You could look at the Vosh fight and literally like make it a direct correlation. There was, yeah, that how was long? The how long did it take us to do Vosh again? It took it like took months. us like three months. Yeah, months weekly between me, you, and because I think it was just me, you, Monkey, and Patrick who joined yeah. Last Bank or whatever that oh, freaking God, guild was. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my with that God. with that crazy asshole guild leader. It was like yelling at people. Dude, that was so stressful. That I was so stressful. So much. But we did beat Lady Vosh. And then once once we beat Lady Vosh, everybody was like, nah, fuck this guy, I'm out. Yes. And we, yeah. we left. And a lot of a lot of people stopped playing. Me and Patrick ended up uh joining RF uh, uh what was it? Resistance RF. is futile. RIF. RIF. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we did RIF and we beat out we did the rest of them. Beat out yeah, Black did, Temple, like, Tempest and Keep, then, and then Black Temple. Yeah, yeah. We, I remember it, it, jumping in on one of those. I to think. be fair, we there were it. only like ten guilds in the world that beat Sunwell before, Bro, like expansion. Was another fucking level, though. Let's I made it to the, uh, the, the fourth or fifth boss before they ended up. The, the expansion came out. <laughs> Bro, what a time to be alive, guys! What yeah. a time to be in the video games spectrum. I know that uh, I give WoW a lot of hate just because I look back at the time and I would never trade it. I yeah. I, I would never yeah. trade it, but I also look at it and look at where it's at now, and I'm like, you've completely invalidated. Any it's definitely not this. It's definitely not the same. No, I'm not saying there aren't things that are great about it still, or things that are better even in some cases, but it isn't the same. Yeah. And th I think that I think that's that makes a direct line towards like who you were playing with and like the time that it was yeah. like, the time that it was alive. Like WoW was like an electric topic. You could say it's around anybody who was gaming and they knew exactly what you were talking about. And there was a certain level of like gravitas to it. Not 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 like oh it's, been, you're special over somebody, but like more so like oh you're playing WoW. I know exactly what you're into right now. WoW was so big a topic at that point in time. That there are arguments that I have watched on YouTube saying that South Park is 
only able to still release episodes because of how well the World of Warcraft yeah, South episode Park episode really well. did, yeah. right? Like, because South Park was on the downtrend at that point in its life. Really? And apparently, the views weren't really doing, the ratings weren't, they released that episode and it almost it single-handedly turned yeah. around South Park at that point in time. I there's just a, can't believe really good YouTube video that the dude in that episode is, is Thor's really dad. dad. Yeah. And he's going to start That's streaming crazy. and he's going to start answering people's questions about That's like cool. stuff that happened back no, in the day. He is. He's just like waiting That's on awesome. like a, a computer or internet oh or something God. like that. He doesn't that. need to wait on a good computer. He's waiting for like the best time to come in. <sighs> You can't yeah. tell me that his his son isn't willing to buy him a freaking PC for him to go ahead and run this. Nah, dude. Like, well, oh, I mean, I could man. be wrong. I got don't take don't take what I said. <laughs> There's a reason no, I, he hasn't started I yet. Trust, He's been I meaning to do it. I don't know what it for was. For sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, but uh, <sighs> you know, good old days. You're talking man. about hating on on World of Warcraft, but I mean, people just hate the most the things that they love the most. Yeah. It's true. It's okay. true. I will. I will concede that there is a part of me that will always love that portion of my of my memories. Like mm. there is, there is a very core part of me that has been built on late nights playing in Karazhan. Like that was, that was what I did on the weekends yeah. because and then like we'd the, be on a horse, boss, and you'd leave. For and I would an leave. Like, look, look, let's not talk about this. <laughs> Every single time it comes up, you always bring it up as if, like, it just changed. Like, I get uh, it. I fucked up. Okay. That was and wild. That was hilarious. such a wild time. Oh, my God. But, it, but like, yeah, like, there's there's an element to it where I can, I can literally pull myself back to the time and place where WoW was the, the, the light of my life. Like... I was dating somebody at the time and it was the light of my life. Like <laughs> interesting <laughs> to be fair. That person was not great and neither was the person before them. So it, it's, it's not a really an issue, but I have some really great core men memories based around. Wow. And oh. I have great friends because of it. And I honestly feel as if I have great teamwork skills because of it. Yeah. So I can't say that it has not bettered my life. The only thing that I can say is that the game that exists now does not directly correlate to where I wish it was from my youth. And that's that's not a mark against the game. It's just that that my time in the game, I feel, has maybe has has passed. I don't know if I'm no, I am the marketable demographic anymore for that game, which is fine. Like, I got what I wanted from that game. There are I have a ton of memories from that game that I will go back to. It makes me super sad thinking about it now, though. Like the way that I'm speaking about it now, I'm like. <laughs> But I but miss I it. I back. miss that, you know? Hey, so like I play. said, there is I nothing, can't, man. There is can't. nothing that does healing the same. The reason you the reason you can is because they've literally designed the game for people like us who have no time to play the game. I oh, shut up, Anthony. That's don't, literally why don't it's don't so different. This. That is very don't true. Do it's so this. I'm sorry, but if that's the truth. I, if we, get we off all this wish podcast, and I swear to God, if I download, <laughs> we <laughs> all wish I'm gonna stab you in the Wait, foot. <laughs> I mean, I remember you watching BlizzCon and being ready to play. I well, yeah, I apparently I was bought it was, was in November. Shirt. I didn't even realize I had bought it in November, and so did my wife. Like Chris Metzen. Why? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's the that's the sad but good thing. I mean, it's incredible that they have WoW Classic for people that have the time to actually go and do that. That's cool. But for those of us that don't, they have done an incredible job of making it accessible. And then still having like apparently challenges in mythic rating and stuff for people that want that and can do that. Yeah. It's impressive and it's beautiful. You get this one expansion for me, Anthony. <laughs> I will level up pickle juice. Hell yeah. I will take him to max level. Hell yeah. And if I don't feel it, I will punch you in the dick next time I see you. I will be <laughs> hard and ready. 
Oh my gosh. I take it all back. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> oh god. Well, I guess we're logging back in at some point. Fucking hell. I okay, here's what the only to me, guys? Here's the only thing I have to say. Do I get the heroic or the epic B, edition? B is I, out of I got, town this weekend. I got the weekend? base edition. I got the base edition. You got the base edition. I, guess I didn't, I look, I didn't look, spend the extra. I guys. think I need to get boosted to 70 because I think Pickle is like 60. And they all B come with a boost. out of town this weekend. I think they all come I have the whole weekend. You know who's in town this weekend? My mother-in-law. Yeah. Can't wait. Damn. Um, no, I'm right, excited. What? I'll be raiding before you're done. Wow. <laughs> Eric, what the <laughs> and you, fuck? And you know that's true. Uh, see i i actually i you started early to give yourself a a, no no i legitimately considered i had a lot of mental debate on whether or not i was going to bring up world of warcraft today so that i could get a further head start stupid okay basically (laughs) (laughs) you were like you were like the minute i was gonna happen well nat he knew the minute he said i'm trying it out and it's pretty good he w- in his head no, he was like Eric's no. gonna start playing it. He it's gonna be about five days before he's way too far ahead <laughs> See, of me. This is this so, is if uh, I was yeah. smarter, I would have bought the like full blown out edition so I could have played the expansion. But right now I just have like five or six level seventies because the pre patch event was stupid for experience. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. But I, it was it was fun. I feel like such a shill right now. <laughs> I worst. mean, if it wasn't for World of Warcraft, we wouldn't be on this podcast. It's true. Oh my god, it's so true. The first fair. time we met Nat in real life, he made my arm fall off. Because he was like, you're real! Boom! And he's way bigger guys, than me. He is guys, strong man. <laughs> guys, these guys got me through a lot. <laughs> these guys got me through a lot. Oh my god. Hey. When they I showed up, I was do. like, oh, okay. I guess I can keep doing this. <laughs> We're real people, not just my AI. It literally says Cujo Thunder. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that like, that's like your login? You're not supposed to that's share my, that. Oh, I'm not? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just make sure you have a good password. <laughs> oh, no, I have a really good password. Yeah, everything is. <laughs> it still thinks I live in Kingwood, dude. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that's funny oh but the game <sighs> actually just came out tonight like uh six o'clock est tonight. officially guys, you guys, you war guys within released surgical. at six you, you are, are surgical, surgical. we didn't even insane. talk about this we didn't even talk about this what are you doing? <laughs> absolutely diabolical but yeah pre, pre-release was like thursday or friday for people that spent like 40 45 bucks to do that good lord I think you had to spend 40, I'm 45 not bucks. Do that. I'm not going to do Actually, that. Actually, you know what? It might have been only 20 bucks. But insane. But then the like next tier gives you like a month of access, which is $15. And it's $20 more. So it's like, okay, so I pay another $5. All right. It's done. <laughs> nice. I'm downloading it. Hell yeah. How dare you guys make me reminisce? How dare you? <laughs> I think you did that all on your own. We're ending the podcast <laughs> so, here. No, you don't no, get to no, talk no. about I didn't anything even get to go. else. Nat, no. Nat, Nat, Nat. No. We gotta talk about the new release. Okay, what's the new release? Have y'all looked into or played or gotten to watch anybody play yet? Black Myth. It's oh, like Wukong? the, the no. talk of... Yeah, you're right. The gaming industry right now. I, I've stopped myself from watching because people are saying that it's the uh, ga- the God of War of uh, this year, and I was like, "Oh, it, it, it is. That means it I is the first triple A release we've had in uh, like ten years that is Damn. overwhelmingly positive at four hundred thousand reviews." I don't know. It's too expensive. I won't play it. Yeah, it's a little, it's very expensive. It's very expensive, but this it's is an like, oh, this is a triple A like overly. A, I don't know. I have like an aversion to like triple A, and I mean and like nowadays. Look, I'm with you. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there has been no other triple A release to get an overwhelmingly positive on Steam like this. Okay. I mean that. That's why I was curious right. if y'all had watched anybody play it yet or seen anything. About Never it. even heard of it. It is a 
So it is done by a Chinese developer. And there has been a lot of interesting uh, press about it. But the minute it came out, all bad, bad press uh, disappeared instantly behind this might be the best game of the year. It definitely so, looks like a good game to try out a brand new amazing gaming PC on. It, uh, it looks gorgeous, Nat. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> Am I the guy? Nat, have you seen the wolf animation? The Out wolf of all boss? of these people, looks so I'm the dope. only one who does, definitely does not stream. Uh, Nat, I guess I'm, I'm playing off a laptop, my guy. Uh, I mean... It might you're, blow you're up if I wrong. try to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> However... Uh, overwhelmingly positive. It looks, everything that I've seen looks gorgeous. The gameplay looks visceral and fun. It looks See, like thanks to pretty cool. Past me buying World of Warcraft in November, uh, future me will probably play this game when it's half off for 30 bucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guys, how am I going to study with this game? Which one? Mm. Any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Any of them. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, yeah, Black Booth Wu Kong looks insane. I've I, I did not watch Asmongold Gold or um Afro, Afro Senju on either of these because I was like I'm I have a feeling I'm probably gonna play this game at some point in time. So Agreed, agreed. I, I like Black Myth looks right up my alley. I think my yeah. only concern is whether or not I'll be able to play it on PC. Which means I might be doing it on PS5, and I don't. It might be a good idea. And then I'm like, ah, I don't know. Recommended don't know minimum RTX 2060. <laughs> I know. Uh, good thing I got a 4070, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but um, Black Myth Wukong looks really cool. The new okay. World of Warcraft expansion. I've heard good things, not How just dare from you, Anthony. Uh, Anthony, but others as well. I was. I, I have been on that kick thinking about healing recently, and I'm like, I wish there was another game, but there there I promise you there isn't, unfortunately. And it is my favorite mechanic. So as I said, it's really easy to convince me to go back for a little bit. Because I I'm guess like, we're going back. Um outside of that, this week has been mostly uh RuneScape. I'm sitting around I I, I think I've broken the a thousand uh point uh threshold i am working on some cool new gear and working on questing and achievements and they've all been super interesting uh and i'm getting geared up so i can do some bosses i did this cool i did this stupid bosses. thing in runescape where you're like stealing from the monster hunter association the mha and oh, yeah. they all wear like pink outfits and I was just like only supposed to be there until I found a rusty sword, apparently. And I was like, yeah. you know, I kind of I kind of want to look like they do. So I just kept robbing <laughs> them until eventually I had all their all their garb and I put it oh, all on. I'm like, yeah, look at me. <laughs> if only you had waited just a little bit. So that um, that that quest kind of leads you down and then you end up going back there for more. The minute you get another quest, the drop rate for that armor increases like 10 times. That's fine. Uh, because you need two thing. sets of it. This for is the, the thing for me with RuneScape. It's all about running. It's all about how much repetitiveness can I get out of it? Because I only yeah. will play it while I'm doing something else. I'm waiting okay. for this stupid timer to run out for this course so that I can freaking go to the next timer. I'm going to yeah. rob some people. Bro. Nice. Guys, I didn't hear anything you just said. I've just been I've just been thinking, okay, is a warrior actually viable for raiding? Warrior is one of the top 6 on someone's list of just of course it is. fun good classes. I um, just remember not having a great time leveling but i know that they've made a lot of changes what level is your warrior so. leveling is way better now anthony the last time i played a warrior i'm pretty sure i didn't know my wife wow so yeah so level 10 <laughs> no 
No. no level 43. No. The last thing I think the last thing I played was Cataclysm. No, wait. Not Cataclysm. You didn't play Legion? Yeah. Ada? Yeah. You played Legion. No, I played Legion. I played Legion. You're right. Okay, so I was gonna last say. thing I played was yeah. Legion. You, you, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And after yeah. Legion was uh BFA. Mm-hmm. I played BFA too. And then Shadows, uh, Shadowlands. Shadow I didn't play Shadowlands. Lands. That's okay. That's good. Shadowlands was meh. It was bar- uh, terrible. I heard. They had so much time gating. That's what got me out of it immediately. Dragonflight yeah. was fun, but that was bad. like comical yep. in uh, some other ways. Like mm-hmm. the gameplay for Dragonflight, I felt was pretty fun, but like it was Story-wise, just so comical. Be warned. Be warned. When you log in, I don't know if it happens when you log in the first time, but when I logged in after getting to level like 68 or 70, a new cinematic started that I accidentally skipped and you can't get back to it unless you go to YouTube. So don't skip. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, it was kind of weird. But there are some really good uh But they like, have like an auto movie. skip to 70. So like, why would I need to do that? Hmm? But they have an auto skip to 70. So why would I do that? Do what? Luckily, I did. Uh, they all give my you dragon an auto level raids. to like seventy. So why would mm-hmm. I skip the playlist if it's uh, gonna play immediately as I log in with the character that's already seventy? Oh, because I'm dumb and I accidentally pushed escape. Heard. <laughs> Heard. Heard. <laughs> Behind. Behind. Yep. Absolutely. Heard. Yeah. Guys, yeah. good po- <laughs> good podcast, guys. Yeah. yeah. Good podcast. Good podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Audience, we'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if you want to Please. stick around for the post show, <laughs> we don't have to post do that. Hey, at some, point, do that. at some point in time, we will some get there. point <laughs> we'll get to the post show at some point in time. But I believe we have no. We this have is come good. to the end of our yeah, loop. Yeah. If Thank y'all want a post show, so ask fun. for it. Yeah, <laughs> and put us down it. in the comments. <laughs> tell what me, I should do said. more work want, on the Patreon. You want to hear about cows? I'll tell you about cows. I'll tell you. Dude, I, I really don't want to hear about cows. Not right now. No, they have to ask for cows. it. They have to ask for it. No. They have to ask for it. You want to hear Thank about the shattered glass? Ask for it. I'll tell you about it. Ask for it. Ask, ask and for you it. shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. There it is. Okay. Catch you on the next one. See you. Peace. Bye.